What's up? Lady Von Barber here at Murphy Barber Shop. Have you guys ever wondered what kind of straight racer to get? Well, today I'm going to show you what straight racer I got. I need to upgrade from one of my old straight razors. And so I got another box. And I ordered this on my own and I searched out some of the straight razors I was looking for because I need a new one. It just wasn't working. There was like a plastic guard where I couldn't get close enough around a certain area of the nose, which is fine. I eventually got it, but it shouldn't be that hard. So I knew it was time to get an upgrade for my straight razor. So I'm gonna share with you guys what's inside this box. All right, let's give it open. Oh, can't wait to show you guys. All right, let's see what's in here. There's the receipt, woohoo. Oh cool, it came with this little keychain, which I didn't order, but they give me that. And this company is called Ivory, Ivory and Barber Company. They came with a sticker as well, that's pretty cool. I ordered two boxes of straight razors, and it is 20 all in each package, so there's 40 all together right here. And it comes with a little box so you can slide it on, and I'll show you guys here in a little bit how to do that and then here is my straight razor so it's a disposable straight razor shave it's not the one where you use a belt I like using these maybe eventually I will get um, a fancy belt and everything but the, the time and like cleanliness I'm not ready to take that step because as a barber we are supposed to be very 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 careful with blood spills and all that so as a barber myself I feel more comfortable using a disposable razor that doesn't mean I can just be like careless I have to be so everly careful and making sure I sanitize it drop it at the barber side let it soak do its thing and then take it out and do all the stuff. So like if you are a barber, just make sure you are giving the proper steps to guarantee that you are not transferring any blood to another client, even if you don't even see a big slice of blood. See, you nicked it and you can't even see it. That can still transfer to another client. So please be careful as a barber. Since barbering is becoming such a new thing again, well, it's been coming back for a while, but it's becoming bigger now. So we have to be very careful to keep barbering alive again. We don't want to make the same mistakes. I'm really excited to try this one out. All right. So check this out you guys, this is the straight razor, it has a little bit of heaviness to it, it has like a, a matte type of feel. I don't know if I like this texture, it kind of gives me that weird feeling but maybe I might like it later on. And this part is going tight and loosen. The cool thing about this, I read online that it's a magnetic stick so when you put your straight razor it's a little bit easier to put on so let's give it a try oh and before we try it also in the box is the straight razor pouch so you can store away if like traveling or anything and you don't want it to get messed up just open the little pouch and stick it right in there you are it smells like leather so then you just move and you're ready well, loosen it, you go like this. And then from the back, it'll switch up, and then you can put the blade right in there. Once you put the blade in, close it, and tighten going this way. Once it's secure, then you can use it. See that? There it is. I'm super excited to give it a try, but till then, straight razors so i'll show you with the new straight razor i got from ivory barber company with the ones that is on their websites untighten this by loosening it this way and then once it slides that way and then when your straight razor once you get it out of the box there is this little thing right here 
It's just supposed to, so you're gonna pull it that way. So you're gonna go lock and load. Push. So like that. So once you have it out of the box. Oh yeah, see it has like a magnet in it. That's cool. Be careful with this because if you're new to it like I am, you don't want to cut yourself. So once it's lined up, you tighten it. Be careful with your fingers. Thanks for stopping in you guys. I hope you can hit subscribe and like and it will help me very much.